Hi, my name is George Wilson and I'm one of the ZFS developers and I'm here to talk to you about um, log devices in Solaris 10 Update 9 and new features associated with them. Um, so just kind of as a refresher, uh, some of you are probably familiar with the fact that ZFS has had the capability of having separate intent logs or some of them, some people refer to them as slogs, um, which allow you to have a dedicated device to write synchronous data out to. The idea behind them is that you can have a device which is much faster than a spinning disk, um, in particular something like a flash device, an SSD, um, which allows you to have low latency um, um, access to writing out data to that particular device. So for applications that require um, or rely heavily on synchronous activity like databases, they could simply quickly write out their transactions to a um, separate intent log in a very short amount of time and not have to wait for the latencies required to do a normal disk write. Um, so the way that ZFS handles synchronous writes is that although we will eventually write the data out to the pool in an asynchronous fashion, we have to make sure that we commit the data out to disk immediately. So we can't actually return from a write system call to the application until the write has actually gone to stable storage. Again, that's where having an SSD or a fast separate intent log comes in handy because now you're gated by, this, by that particular device which has a much faster access rate than something on the pool. However, there are applications which do a lot of work synchronously but yet don't really want to be bottlenecked by access to a particular device. Databases are a great example of this, where you may have, for example, redo logs which have very small transactions and require quick access versus database files which also get written to synchronously but yet have much more, um, much more data to actually write out. So those two pieces allow you to, or with those two pieces in mind, you may want to actually consider changing the way that you handle synchronous writes, and this is one of the new features available in Solaris 10 Update 9. With Solaris 10 Update 9, we introduced a feature called Log Bias, which now allows you to actually set the way that you want synchronous writes to work for a given data set. So for a given file system, you can actually set the log bias to either be latency, which means you're looking for some quick performance, or throughput, which means you want to leverage the fact that there's actually lots of bandwidth, potentially what you would find in a, a pool with lots of spindles. So going back to the database example, we can look at something like redo logs, which require a very fast response time, and put those redo logs on a separate file system with a log bias set to latency. If we have something like an SSD, then we're talking about a very fast access and a quick response time, which means we can actually return from the right system call much faster, and the overall application appears to run much quicker. Um, at the same time, you could put your database files on a different data set, and because we're writing out lots of data, we don't want to be bottlenecked by access to one specific SSD. Instead, we'd much rather get the full bandwidth of the pool and write it out to potentially maybe, you know, five to ten spindles and get much more bandwidth than we could potentially get with one particular device. In that case, you want to set the log bias property set to um, throughput. That gives you the best of both worlds. Now you can actually have fine grade and control from your application to determine whether you want to write to a flash device or something that is much faster, uh, whether it's NV RAM device or a flash device, and get quick latency access versus having applications that can go to the rest of the pool and, and take advantage of the fact that you have, you have many spindles out there to get more bandwidth. In addition to that, we've also introduced the ability for you to remove a log device. Now, for the first time, you have the capability of being able to add a log device into a configuration and do some performance testing to see how your applications behave and eventually pull it out of the pool if it doesn't seem to be helping you. Um, so this is one of the key features that we wanted to bring out in, in uh, Solaris 10 Update 9 is the ability to give uh, administrators control on the way logs can actually improve performance on their specific applications. Now you have the ability to actually add and remove a log device um, as well as setting the log bias to determine whether it works better in a mode of latency or throughput.